Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today we will be doing some large buttons, larger than the average size buttons, made of cardboard, but with some fabric on them. Now I've done them in the cardboard before and I've done them various ways, which you can do. So the thing is I wanted to use some of my scrap fabric up. That's why I'm doing them like this, but you can do them with paper on the top. You can do them in all various ways with watercolour, with ink, sprays, anything you like. Even some nice papers that you've got. So my version will be using a die cutting machine. You can hand cut these out if you, you know, I'm not very good with cutting circles, but you can do many different shapes. Um, but this is something that I've done before, as I've said but not this way with fabric on them. So this is a first for me, but I think it's gonna come out nice. And um, yeah, let's go through this and see what we can do. <laughs> so I have some thin sheets of cardboard. Well, um, this, this um, cardboard here, it's not too thick. Um, just boxy type of cardboard. Um, I got something for my birthday and um, it was mirrors and this was a whole sheet of, you know, a large sheet of the background of the cardboard. So I've decided just to cut them up and all I've done with to cut them is not with scissors. All I've done is um, I've used one of the... Uh, I've forgotten what these are called. I just call them like a box cutter or Stanley blade, but they're not Stanley blades. But you just do that, just so it goes sort of halfway through, and then it should just come off. I didn't do it a lot there. Let me do it again. There. And then it should just peel off, you see. So that's how I've done mine. You can use scissors, though, if you want to. As I said, you don't have to use dies. You can just cut your shapes out on this with a pair of scissors. Um, you can go round something even, um, a coaster or a can or um, like baked bean or soup can or something like that. Um, you can do various different shapes as well. Uh, squares and everything really, love hearts. I wouldn't recommend trying to do any punches out of this type of card because it's quite thick and your punch will get stuck in there right so let's carry on to the next step i'm looking forward to this hope you are guys right guys i've pulled out my machine to show you i want to get some more shapes so i'm going to do this one let me just get this these on there i'm going to do one of the hexagons um I think enough of that shape. I'm going to do a star. And probably, where's the smaller ones of those? Um, triangle. There's a Timolt triangle. Oh, I see, and this is what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to lose any. And there's a big one there. Do that that way. I'll have more room on there. Um, I'll just do some more circles there. And we'll do that bit in a minute. But what we'll do is we'll have to pull it up a bit so I can get it up to near the bit. And I need my top bit. Is this recording? Yeah. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna put this through now. Right, okay, and here we go. I would like to run it through twice to give it that little bit more. So that's what we're doing, we'll go back and forth. That's it. And then we can take them out and they'll just pop out. 
And then we've got our shapes. any bits in the um, cardboard like this there's a circle in there if you can see so we're avoiding that we're just putting this on I've got a bit of cotton that's stuck in there but I'm not pulling this off again it's fine it'll run through it's all right I was pushing it through the wrong way to go shapes I've got in them sets there um, see I was using this one okay let me leave that there for a second and then I was using these um, ones from Stamping Up you get a set you get um, the mini rounds the mini ones of the oval type ones and there's a squares I believe I haven't had this set up for years yeah, there's squares as well. Maybe we could do some square buttons. Uh, let me get all them bits out a minute. Um, we could do some mini square, well, I say mini. Them, them type of square buttons, not large ones. We could do some of those. Um, what other shapes have we got? Is that there? I've got another one, but I don't think it'll come out very good. So let me um, get some more cardboard. So what we'll do is we'll just, we will use this little bit here and then we've got one sheet left. In marks in them, you know, because I have used this machine. I've had this machine for about four years now. It's uh, perfect. I love it. I haven't got... The good thing about this machine, which is the uh, Big Shot, um, I keep getting it mixed up, Express, because I keep calling it a, a, um, Advanced, but it's Express, is you haven't got the handle to keep winding it, so it's not heavy on your wrist. <coughs> and that one's a bit big. Hold on a minute, I'll just, uh, there we go. But I, I'm thinking of things to do like happy mail and stuff like that you know or to give out and I thought these would be perfect I want to do a bunch of things like this um, and you can put these in your journals or on the front of your journals as well and add them to anything really right so I think this is the worst part is is getting them all cut out and when you've done that see after I'm gonna have to deal with the fabric as well I'm gonna have to cut the fabric out the same way but at least we've got all the bits of cardboard used up well I've got one piece more now and uh, that'd be it but 
that would have just been crushed to that cardboard and wasted, you know, and gone to the uh, landfill and been buried for eternity. This has got a good pattern on the back of it as well, so it doesn't need painting, um, which is a bonus. So let's do a few more of the same type of ones we was doing and uh, we'll get them on and stuck this back up again there's no other smaller star is there no just bigger stars i'll do another big star because i don't believe i've got many of them and is there anything else i can put there only that one well that's all right we can do that then we've got space pull that out and put this on right so one it does stick up a lot that's near enough sticking up in the air but it's okay right let's pull the camera up so we know it's uh, there <laughs> Okay, that's that done. And right, so these are all done now. What I've got to do is put my die cutting machine away, tidy up a little bit around the table, and then I shall come back to you guys. But we have got a lot of these done now. And, uh, well, I need to do the material, don't I, next? But I will show you all the shapes first. Okay, guys, this is what we've got. Let me hold it. So we've got all of those. All of those. Those and all of these. All made up. Now we need to get on with doing some fabric. Okay, guys, I've cut some out. What I'm going to do is glue these down, these pieces of fabric. I'm just using some um, of this uh, craft glue I've bought. It's a Noble Craft Professional Crafters Glue, PVA, it's strong. Um, I would suggest you use something of a strong salt, a tacky glue at least for the backs. Um, this one does wood fabric, all that type of stuff, because you want them, don't worry about that, that's my dog coughing because she's playing with the hose pipe in the garden at the moment, so she's going in and out the water, so don't be alarmed if you hear that, she does it all the time, so that's done, so I just want to, I'm going to go on top of that, now usually I wouldn't go over with such a thick glue um, on the top, I do a 50-50 mix of cheap PVA glue and water and this glue is very thick but I just want to see for a minute how that is if I don't like it I'm not going to go on the top of it I probably won't um, I, you can use medium as well but 50-50 glue is fine um, I just want to get them stuck on well so they don't fall off so I may even walk this down a little bit this glue it's very thick but for now it's okay as long as it sticks on um, to make sure we line up the fabric okay Don't worry, she's just tonking on a bone. <laughs> she does this. <laughs> oh no, stop playing with the O's, I'm filming. Right. There we go. I think I won't bother um, putting anything on top of them for now. Because I've got an idea of doing something else rather than 
coating them on the top. So let me just get them stuck on here. Um, I'm filming. Let me get these stuck down. Oh, it's so hot today. It's roasting. Right, that one's done as well. Got a lovely pattern on them. Right, let's do this one. So remember, these are only pieces of cardboard that cut out. Now, obviously, you can sew on the top of them and things like that, but I suggest you do that with the material first before gluing them down on the cardboard because it's going to come out on the backs otherwise. Um, I'm just going to do these as they are. The paper's pretty enough. Okay, guys, so... Um, I don't like the thick glue on the top. Um, so we're going to get some Mod Podge or something like that. If I do a watered down glue on the top, it's going to look very matte. But then I'll see what the Mod Podge is like. If I can find it, I'm sure I've got a new one. Um, glossy accents would have been great or the diamond glaze, but I haven't got any of that, I don't think. If I could find some, I'll, I'll use it. I have tried another way um, and the only way that it would work is with a I would say a quarter of an inch all around it and that is to laminate but if you cut too close to it it opens so I just had these in laminate um, these few here but the problem was it leaves a round gap um, and if you cut too close it opens so I decided to take them out with a laminated pouch um, that's not going to work so I will actually do it the traditional way of sealing round the tops right so I'm going to carry on I've got some more nice materials I've got a big pole to my um, right here and uh well my left <laughs> you're right and uh i've got to, i want to do some christmas ones i've just done these two here this is an hexagon one and the round one I, I love these patterns absolutely love them mm -hmm. 